pull this sucker down and go in the house. Of course it ain't going to the house. It's precision. Easy, 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 don't rock. And there she goes. Boom! I'm good.
hope I got that. <laughs> This is the damn cutest bear I've ever seen. He's like, oh, that feels so good. Oh, yeah.
Harvesting a Christmas tree is a great holiday tradition for your family. Of course, you need to make sure you get your permit from the Forest Service, the BLM, or if you're going onto private property, of course, you need to get permission from the landowners. In Wyoming, we can find great trees, spruce, fir, and pine, and the type of tree you choose is really up to you. In this case, we're looking at a fir tree. When I look at a tree, I'm looking at, of course, the height of the tree. I want to make sure I can fit it into my living room. I like the open branching habit of this tree. You can see the layers of branches. The other thing I look for are branches that are well distributed around the tree, so it's not just a, a one-sided Christmas tree. In doing this, we're thinning out the forest and improving forest health. So we don't want to select a tree that is standing alone in an otherwise open area. What we're looking for is a tree that's growing too close to some of the other surrounding trees. Looking at this tree, I'm not going to use this portion of the tree in my home, but I don't want to just make my cut up here and leave the stump behind. When you do remove the tree, cut it down low. This is Chris Hilgert with the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching From the Ground Up.
Inside each tree is a recording of what it experienced during its life. Each growth ring usually represents one full year in the life of a tree. But the rings can also tell us about changes in the climate and even sunspot activity. Dendrochronology is the science of using tree rings to determine past climates, date old buildings, and even calibrate radiocarbon dating. Tree rings are the result of new growth in the vascular cambium of the wood. They are visible because trees grow quickly in the spring and early summer, and slowly in the winter. Wide rings represent a year where conditions were favorable to growth, while a narrow ring may signal a drought occurred that year. Trees that grow in temperate zones usually have the most visible tree rings because seasons differ from each other markedly. While seemingly insignificant, tree rings have proven to be a valuable scientific tool. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Barton Stam, exploring the nature of Wyoming.